Hey guys, it's the Lego Detective, and um, I recently ordered some bootleg Legos off of AliExpress, some minifigures, a few of which are knockoffs, and a few of which are bootlegs. Um, before I get this video started, I consider knockoff and bootleg to be different. Bootleg is an exact copy of the Lego figure. In the case of these figures right here, they are bootlegs. They are the exact same thing as Lego. Knockoffs are, they're still copying the Lego bricks and piece designs, and they're also copying, say, like some of the brands, such as superheroes, but they're not doing something that Lego has done. For example, I have right here, this is another video which I'm going to make. This is a big fig version of Venom, and Lego has not made this. So this is more of a knockoff because Lego has not made big fig Venom. But these right here are more like bootlegs. Um, because these are based off of some really expensive Lego Star Wars minifigs. So this right here is supposed to represent Cloud City Boba Fett, which is like $300. We have Jango Fett, the original one, which is like uh, $60 to get like new. And then we have this white Boba Fett, which is based off of a prototype design, which is also a lot, a lot of money. I think like uh, $70, maybe $100. But yeah, so we're just going to be opening these up. I'm actually going to lower this a bit. Lower my camera. We're going to start with Cloud City Boba because he's pretty cool. And I got three of the Cloud City Bobas. Um, just checking to make sure everything is in there. Okay, so let's open this up. Just The reason I ordered a few is just in case like some of the printing on it got messed up or something. And uh, I'm just going to go grab a scissor. Okay, so I just grabbed a scissor. Let's open it up. Gonna move that out of the way, and here we go. So, first glance, uh, just to let you know, these all three of these different bootlegs are made by the bootleg company of Pogo. Um, just so that you know, from what I've heard about Pogo, the plastic is not the best, and some pieces can be a bit warped or a bit loose or too tight. Like, this head is way too tight for me right now, but it feels pretty good. I've had I've heard that Pogo has very good printing, but plastic isn't the best. And yeah, I can al already see some nubs on that arm right there. <laughs> and the hands look pretty bad, but overall this figure looks really nice. He comes with like this uh, gun, and I'm actually just gonna throw him onto the minifig spinner sort of thing here, so you can see feet are a bit tight. But yeah, that figure just looks amazing right there. Oh wait, did this plug in completely? There we go. Really just an amazing figure. And there's the back printing. His legs are a bit loose, but that's pretty fine, pretty much. This figure is from the Cloud City set, and I can already notice a bit of an imperfection in that arm. You can see it's a bit messed up on the upper shoulder pad. And, yeah, the lower arm, too, was messed up, so I might have to open another one um, off-camera, like, a little later. But, yeah, just a really awesome minifigure. I'm just going to try to shine shine some light, because you cannot see him for some reason. But, yeah, there's Cloud City Boba Fett, and his feet are pretty tight. I'm just going to set him in the back while we open the original Django Fett. And the color of blue used on this figure is not the uh, the same color of blue, but I still consider it a full-on bootleg, since that's what it was trying to be. It wasn't trying to be its own unique thing. And unlike the Boba Fett, this one actually comes completely disassembled, like 100%. And yeah, this... Oh my god. Wait a sec. That is really weird. Look at this. It's really weird. Something happened to the body. I'm not sure if that happened. It doesn't look like it happened with the Boba Fett. That's kind of weird. And the plastic is very tight. So, once you put this guy together, don't expect to be able to take apart all these separate pieces too easily. And he includes an extra hand for some reason. I can not push this in. I'm just going to do that off camera But once I'm able to get this on. Let's see. I got that hand in. What if this other hand will work? There we go. And he has the same gun as Boba Fett. 
So he has less detail, but he is still very rare. Only coming in one set, just like the boba. Very simple, no back printing. And then you can see there's a, another imperfection. Wait, is that supposed to be there? No, it's not, so. Yeah, let's hope that the, the white Boba Fett that I got doesn't have any imperfections. Because I only ordered one of that. So yeah, I'll have to get another one that has a better body and better helmet. Now for white Boba Fett. Doesn't look too bad. Like, it is a bootleg, you cannot blame it. But I still would like to keep as many of these sealed as I can.